In the previous lecture, I explained the basics of clamper circuit and we also solved one example. This example is the case of negative clamper. This example is the case of negative clamper. This waveform here, the blue waveform is the input waveform and the green waveform is the output waveform. If you compare the input waveform and the output waveform, you will find the output waveform is shifted to a new DC level and this new DC level is more negative. That's why this circuit is negative clamper circuit. So we have already completed the negative clamper and I will explain the positive clamper in this lecture. This is the circuit of positive clamper. We have one capacitor, one diode and load resistance. We are measuring the output voltage VO across this load resistance. VI is the input voltage and this is the input waveform. I will analyze this circuit for the first half cycle from 0 to T by 2. From 0 to T by 2. The input voltage VI is equal to minus V for the first half cycle. VI is equal to minus V. So minus plus is the polarity. This terminal is negative. This terminal is positive. Direction of current is anti-clockwise and the direction of current is similar to the direction of arrow in the diode symbol. So this diode is forward biased and I will replace it with the short circuit because I am considering the case of ideal diode. VO is equal to zero. The output voltage is equal to zero because there will be no current through the load resistance. Current will follow the least resistance path and short circuit is having the zero resistance. And I have to calculate the voltage across this capacitor C. Let's say it is VC. This plate is connected to the negative terminal. So it is negatively charged. This plate is connected to the positive terminal. So it is positively charged. I will use Kirchhoff's voltage law to obtain VC. Plus of VI minus of VC is equal to zero. Plus of VI minus of VC is equal to zero. This implies VC is equal to VI. And you can see we have already considered VI to be negative. So I can write it like this minus of minus of VI and minus of VI is equal to minus V. So VC is equal to V. Very simple. There is something which may create confusion in your mind. So let's clear it first. Minus VI minus VI is equal to minus V. This implies VI is equal to V. But here VI is equal to minus V. So you may think there may be some contradiction, but actually there is no contradiction. This is an entirely different case. This will happen when VI is positive and this will happen when VI is negative. By using this, I have considered this polarity minus plus and by using this polarity, we have already considered VI to be negative. So when VI is negative, when VI is negative and it is equal to V, this automatically implies V is negative, which is true because V is negative for the first half cycle. So this is how this works. By using this, I have considered this polarity and once I have considered this polarity, VI is negative and we do not require to make it negative once more. That's why VI is equal to V. And if you consider VI to be positive, it is equal to minus V. I hope it is clear to you. I will quickly erase this. Now I will analyze this circuit for the next half cycle from T by 2 to T. From T by 2 to T. The polarity will change. We have plus, plus, minus as the polarity. And also the direction of current. The current will now flow in clockwise direction. The diode will be reverse biased and I will replace it with the open circuit and I will use the Kirchhoff's voltage law to obtain the output voltage VO because it is not zero in this case because the current will flow through the load resistance it will not choose the path having the open circuit because open circuit is having resistance equal to infinity so VO is equal to VI plus VC after using the Kirchhoff's voltage law VI is equal to V and VC is also equal to V. So the output voltage is simply equal to twice of V. This is what we have after using the Kirchhoff's voltage law for the second half cycle. 
now we have the values of output voltage and we can easily plot the output waveform for the first half cycle from 0 to t by 2 the output voltage is equal to 0 volts and for the second half cycle from t by 2 to t the output voltage is equal to twice of v there is one condition that we always have to remember the discharging time is equal to 5 times of tau where tau is the time constant and because of this this capacitor will not discharge for the second half cycle during the second half cycle the capacitor will not discharge and it will constantly provide the voltage equal to V volts so this is very important point in case of clamper circuits and this is the assumption in all the clamper circuits I have already explained about this in the last lecture now I will plot the output waveform for the first half cycle it is equal to 0 so we have 0 in the first half cycle then output voltage is equal to twice of V so we have the output waveform like this this is equal to twice of V this is how you have to analyze the positive clamper circuit I am calling it positive clamper circuit because new DC level is more positive as compared to the previous DC level. This is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.